What's going on guys? Today I'm here to talk to you guys about DirectX 12 and what it really is and what a lot of people think it is because they're very different and uh, what I've been reading about on the internet some people clearly don't know what they're talking about with this. So I thought that'd cover it up today. Okay, so I'm just gonna jump into it. DirectX 12, what a lot of people are saying it is, is they're thinking that it's gonna be this thing where it's, oh my god, this is the savior of the Xbox One, this is the thing that's gonna push it to the next gen level, it, we're gonna beat the PS4. <laughs> no, 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 it's 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 not at all, it really is not gonna be that. I'm, I'm sorry for all the Microsoft uh, fanboys out there. I, I have an Xbox One, so before you decide to exit out of the video, please don't. Just stick around and uh, wait to hear my final verdict, I guess you could say on this. Okay, so just to clear things up for you, DirectX 12 is just basically an update for your drivers on uh, your GPU or your graphics card if you're on a computer. If you're on a console, um, I am not really sure how that works out because consoles don't have like legit GPUs. They have a uh, graphics card like hardware, so what I'm assuming is the way that this is going to work is uh, eventually um, you're going to have some big update on your Xbox One. Um, it may be a slightly more optimized for that, but you're not going to see a huge difference after the update is applied. It's just going to be, maybe your games will look slightly smoother. And we're talking about slightly here. I'm talking about like on PC anyway. It's always been like, okay, well awesome. Now I get like three or four more frames. It's never this thing where it's like, oh my god, you know, I don't even need to go out and buy new hardware. I'm just, I'm okay. I'm fixed, you know. Game changer, man. The, the, the Xbox One's going to sell 10 more million units or something. No, it's not going to... It's not going to work out that way, it's just going to be this thing where if you're looking to get a little bit more increase out of your hardware, well, you'll get that support with DirectX 12. So that's what it is, but a lot of people I'm seeing here are saying just all these kinds of crazy things and I honestly don't know where the people are getting it from. Hardware, guys, I'm just going to give you a quick little lesson here. Hardware, not even lesson really, but just common knowledge. Hardware is mostly what makes your games run. The hardware is essential. If you don't have good hardware, you're not going to have uh, good graphics on your game or a smooth frame rate on your game. It's mostly on hardware. The software only can improve the hardware a little bit maybe make a uh, slightly better use out of it but you know it's kind of like if you look back at the xbox uh 360 the original xbox why, why do you think that we had to come out with a new xbox it's because they needed to have like new hardware otherwise what would even be the point of coming out with these consoles you know if we could just if we could just put a direct x12 on every system you know who, who would need the new one right who would even need it so, I mean, it, it it really, it'll help a little bit, but it just, it's not going to be something where you're going to notice a huge difference in your games. Phil Spencer even came out and said, um, I think on Twitter, I believe, he ended up saying that it's not going to make a huge difference. Uh, PC users will see them, the, I guess the bigger, the bigger side of the stick. They'll see the... They'll get the better end of things. They'll be able to see a greater difference than the console users will. Um, that's not to say that they aren't going to try to make it nice for their console, but it's just, it's pretty much the way it is. You know, you bought an Xbox One, you have an Xbox One, you don't have a supercomputer. <laughs> so, I don't know. I, I hope this was helpful for some people out there. Keep in mind, guys, I'm not hating on the Xbox One. I have one. And I just want to address any PC master fags out there that might be watching. There is absolutely nothing wrong with owning a console. There's nothing wrong with owning an Xbox One either. Uh, well, those are a console. I don't know why I'm separating them. But there's nothing wrong with owning an Xbox One. It's a great console. It's a lot of fun to uh, play with and use. And, I mean, I, I just... I don't see why there's any re any reason for like this console uh, debate, this Xbox One versus PlayStation versus PC, 1080p, uh, say, say the PS4 owners, we have 1080p 60fps, P PC owners have had that for years and they'll probably end up saying, okay well now we have 4K, 
there, there's no, there's nothing wrong with any game that you, uh, or any platform that you game on. There, there, there's nothing wrong. There only becomes a problem on the platform that you game on when you see a problem. So, anyway, with that regard, I just want to say to anybody who's still at this point in the video watching, I hope that this helped you guys at least just a little bit. And if you like this, um, give it a like. Uh, that really helped me out. I, uh, yeah, I know that. That really helped me out, man! Yeah, I know a lot of people say that on YouTube, but... Especially when I'm at it this low of a channel, it really does help me out, so... Maybe not even just a like, a comment, you know, just engaging with me here. Uh, let me know that that helped you a little bit on, you know, your understanding of it. Uh, and if you guys want to, you can subscribe too. Anyway, I'll see you guys on the next one. Project signing off. I'm about to get it right now All these motherfuckers wonder how All the pretty girls love the style And they wonder if he well endowed On stage trying to fill my dick from the crowd I'm about to get it right now All these motherfuckers wonder how All the pretty girls